It brought horror, hardship, and really heartbreak to millions of people. And as they brace for Ida, a flood of memories coming back for the survivors of that storm. Frankie McLister joins us in the newsroom after speaking with a Valley restaurant owner who is from Louisiana. Frankie, we have seen some of those videos and some of those images already today. What is going through her mind tonight? Yeah, Whitney, and those videos and photos are just incredible. You can't even fathom this. Now, you can also imagine it's pretty tough being away while watching your homeland just be destroyed, seeing all those videos that you just talked about come on to the news. And that's exactly what's running through the mind of Jennifer Groff. Now, Groff moved to Arizona from the Bayou State back in 1990 for her husband's job. And during her time here, she opened Flavors of Louisiana, which has locations both in Avondale and also in Tempe in the East Valley. Now, Groff still has plenty of family and friends over in Louisiana and says that their mentality is just toughing through the storm. Now, her mom throughout Katrina, stayed throughout Katrina and toughing it through is exactly what her brother and his family are doing as we speak. I can tell you, I just got off the phone with my brother just a few minutes ago. And um, the one thing that concerns him about Hurricane Ida versus Katrina is usually when a hurricane makes landfall, it slows down a little bit. But this one is in New Orleans or getting close to New Orleans right now, and it's still a Category 4. It's got that accent and everything. Now, the Red Cross of Arizona has deployed nearly 20 volunteers over to assist those right now being hit by Hurricane Ida. And we're going to show more of this story coming up later at 9 and 10. Whitney. Thank, thank you so much, Frankie, for bringing us her perspective tonight.